Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a low-carb lettuce wrap ground meat. So I'm not being specific on the meat that we're going to use because you can use pork, you can use beef, you can use chicken. It's up to you. Um, today I'm going to do a mixture of pork and ground beef. Um, it's basically the flavors of Chinese food. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So we're going to put our uh, meat mixture together and I have a pound and a half combination of pork and lean ground beef. Now you can use chicken, just pork. I know with Chinese um, recipes it's basically pork and chicken and fishes and stuff but I had this in the freezer, I thawed it out and I want to use it and it's just as good with it as with the other as far as I'm concerned. So now I've taken eight mushrooms about this size and the reason I'm using this kind is because that's what I have in the house. Um, shiitake, um, any kind of Chinese mushrooms are, are awesome like the brown mushrooms and stuff but I'm using the white mushrooms so I wanted you to see that's about the size I use and I cut, chopped up eight of them finely chopped. So we've got that and then I've got um, where's my container? There it is. It was opened up. They put the lid on the bottom but I have um, water chestnuts and this is 8 fluid ounces, 227 mils. I've taken the whole pan, I rinsed the water chestnuts and I finely chopped them and we're going to throw them in the meat mixture. Then I've got um, a finely chopped white onion. You can use scallions also, but I didn't have scallions so I took the white, mush the white um, onion. Okay, so I've got my gloves on and I'm just going to mix this all up. This is a nice change. Give you a little bit of variety in your meals. You know, it's pretty crazy. Sometimes I say, what am I going to make? And I, I go to my blog, lowcarbrecipeideas.com and I'm going, oh my gosh, I haven't made that forever. And there's such a, there's such good recipes on there that I um, have to try them all over again. Because you get in a habit and you have the same thing over and over, but uh, looking on the line, it works really, really well and gives you nice variety for low carb. So now I've got to add four teaspoons of tamra, which is a soy sauce. I actually like real soy sauce better, but the tamra is so much better than the regular as in for the carb count. So this is what I'm talking about here. And then we're going to add in three teaspoons of dry white wine. Now, I'm not a wine drinker. My husband drinks Chardonnay. I called him up as this dry because I have no clue on wines. And he said, absolutely, it is dry. Or you can use... Um, just got to think here what it's called, um, Chinese rice wine or a dry sherry. But uh, I looked it up and it said substitution for Chinese wine would be a dry um, Chardonnay, so I, a dry white wine, so I did. So now I've got a half a teaspoon of sweetener. I just want a little bit of sweetener in there and it's powdered erythritol. I always powder it, so please um, it works it's just nicer if you powder it. I powder it in advance, I put it in my cookie jar, and then I have it ready to go because it's, it's very crystally. And if you powder it, you can use it for your baking, you can use it for stuff that you're not baking, and it dissolves a lot better. Okay, now I've got this all mixed. Oh. One thing I forgot, and I don't want to muck up my salt and pepper shaker. So I've got Himalayan salt, and you're doing this basically for taste. 
Another thing you could use is my Herbamere. Um, it would be de delicious in this also. I'll just grab it so you can see what the Herbamere is. And it's all for taste. And there's so many varieties of um, um, spices in this Herbamere. It's delicious and you could very easily use this. But today I'm just going to put the salt and pepper in. And hopefully you can find the Herbamere. So I'm just going to use my other hand here and mix the salt and pepper in. So I'm going to set this aside and now we're going to get the skillet and we're going to cook up some stuff. So now I've just heated up my skillet. It might not be totally heated up the way I want it to be, but I've got two tablespoons of avocado oil or use olive oil. It's up to you, but I use a lot of avocado oil here. And then we're going to add in a teaspoon and a half of ginger, crushed ginger. Now, I've sort of been cheating with the ginger. I gotta get my jar here. I bought some ginger already um, crushed. And I did that because I find I don't use a lot of ginger and I end up it ends up shriveling up and I've just wasted my money. So I'm uh, done buying it in a jar now. And I'm just going to release that nice smell, that old odor, flavor. Oh, it smells so good. So now we're going to add in the ground beef mixture, the pork and beef. You don't have to use as much meat, it just depends on how many you're going to be wrapping in your lettuce. So we're just going to let this cook up. You also could have cooked your onions with the ginger. But by the time everything is cooked with the meat, it's the onions are going to, scallions are going to be cooked also. So I'm just going to let that cook up. So I cooked the ground pork and beef mixture. All the juices are gone. Doesn't look like there's hardly any grease and I never drained it or anything. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add, add oyster sauce. And I'm adding four tablespoons of oyster sauce. And we're also going to add a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. So we're just going to let this cook for about a minute. Mix it up really, really well, and then we're going to wrap this up in lettuce. Now I separated my leaves off of the lettuce. I've wrapped a couple of them already. Um, you can see them right there. I've wrapped a couple already just to see how it was going to work for the video. So this was one of the first leaves I took off and they were all washed, they had a little bit of dirt on them. So um, basically what I do is I, you have your harder stem there of the lettuce and I've taken a spoon about this size and put that along the edge. And it's just like your cabbage rolls, you work with it. And you're going to find there's little splits here and there, but I do have a trick for that if that, um, you see what I'm doing there? Good. And I'll just set that aside. Now, some, lettuce is crazy to get apart, like it was, they were all entwined in one another. But what I found is, if I have a mess where I have too many cracks or whatever, then I'll just take a little piece of lettuce and I'll throw it in there to cover up the hole 
and it wraps a lot nicer so you don't have it revealing because I do have one that I did that it um, was showing the, the, the mixture outside. So let's try this one and see what I get. But they, they're so squiggly. You could use a different kind of lettuce, but um, I'm using regular iceberg lettuce today. So just tuck them in where you can. Some might not look that great, but they're very tasty. Now, see here's one that I took off, and look at the mess. Look at the mess I've got here. So I'm going to see if I can get another one off. They, they just grow really funny. They really do. I just have to find out where. It's kind of the same as the cabbage, but this, this grows definitely different. A lot of curves and nooks and crannies. There we go. So I've got another one that I've taken off. I'm going to cut off a little bit of the, the stem here. Okay. And I think that one's going to be good without having to add any little pieces. So, there we go. Awful quiet right now, I'm concentrating. So, I'm just going to tuck that in. Yeah, just play with it. Have it so that you can do it without breaking it. There you go. So I'll continue making more and then we'll give it a try. So here is my low carb lettuce wrap with ground meat in it. It's um, got a lot of Chinese flavors. It's really really good. Um, and what I suggest is just leave your meat in a bowl in, um, on the table, separate all your leaves, and let your family put it together. They can scoop it, they can wrap it. If they have trouble, whatever, it still has great flavor. So I'm going to take a bite now and show you my expression as to how much I like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Great flavor. I like the crispiness of the lettuce. You could use Boston lettuce. It might be a little easier. It's more solid than this, but this lettuce is really good with it. A nice change. Gives your kids, your family, a chance to get involved with the meal. Because it I rolled up one, two, three, four, five of them, and I still have a lot more in the dish to have a lot more. This is delicious. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So if you go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye now.